Hello, people. Let's meet Paul Cherland. And yeah, this is Paul Montgomery Churchland. Oops! Before anything else, I'll introduce myself first. Hi everyone! I am Hannah. I would like you to sit there and know more about Paul Churchland. Enjoy watching! Let's get started! The contents of this video are first about Paul Churchland, second, eliminated materialism, and the third one is the examples of his ideas. So let's begin with the biography of Paul Churchland. He was born in Vancouver, Canada on October 21, 1942. He is a Canadian philosopher known for his studies in neurophilosophy and the philosophy of mind. In addition, Paul Churchland is most known for his studies of the brain and the philosophy of the mind. Churchland philosophical beliefs include eliminative materialism as part of a folk psychology. By the way guys, he is married to fellow philosopher Patricia Churchland, to which their studies are similar, a marriage devoted to the mind-body problem. So now, as you have known Paul Churchland, let's now go to the second topic which is his ideas. According to him, the physical brain and not the imaginary mind that gives us our sense of self. That means our mind and bodies are different. It is somehow similar to the philosophical statement of René Descartes and Plato about self, where as Descartes stated, while in Plato, it has similarities, right? Therefore, Churchland states that there are at least two distinct kinds of existence, and these are our mind and bodies. So that means the self is the brain. We always use our senses to see or feel real situation or our common senses. Brain as our provider to see, feel, touch, taste, and smell. He believes that nothing but matter exists. Why matter not senses? It is because we use materials or matters like books, watch, camera, phone, calculator, and even the ball and other materials we honor that can be seen, felt, touched, smelled, tasted, that can empower our senses. Then it exists. George Len asserted the sense of self originated from the brain itself, and that this self is a product of electrochemical signals produced by the brain. Oh, I learned a lot. So let's go now to our last topic. It is the example of Paul's idea about eliminative materialism. A blind man smells pepperoni pizza. He didn't see it, but he do believes that it was a pepperoni pizza due to his sense of smell that his brain provided. Always remember that we always use our senses to see or feel real situations. Thanks for watching, folks! I hope you learned something today! Yeah!